this setup, you know, our sap goes to the big tanks out here, and then we have a lift pump lifts it into here, and then from there it flows down right into the wood fired evaporator. This back pan is kicking off about 100 gallons worth of sap an hour when it's at full run if the humidity is right. And that's just barreling steam up. By the time it makes it to here, it's close to syrup. And so it'll work its way through here until it gets the draw off on the end. And obviously this is all disassembled now for the season. But whatever we set this at is what the syrup is finishing at at that current time of the day. And it can change within a day with relative humidity. So that's the temperature. And it'll open, the valve will open on it, and it will pour off until it drops a tenth of a degree difference. And that's boom. So it's, it, it pours off at finished syrup. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you know, we filter it and we bottle it or we bring it into a... Uh, you were drawing it off of here, what, just to kind of double check things with your hydrometer? You said if yeah, you're going to Yeah, because that's what we off? do. We, when we, we, we keep checking every tenth of a degree until we bricks with a hydrometer, right. you know, at 66, and then, we're, then we're, we're there, and that's the temp we set it at. And you're calibrating it when 218, most people say 219. Why wouldn't it say 219 on a draw off? Because it's, it's between 215 and 220. It'll vary. It can be as low as 215 and as high as 220. It depends on the barometric pressure and the relative humidity. So on a day when, uh, you, I don't know if you noticed this, but when you're evaporating and it gets to be evening and the sun sets and suddenly all that pressure changes in the air, your steam is like not coming off the same way. And this will actually draw off at a higher temperature during that time because it has to do with the cooling of the air and the air pressure coming down. So. So you have an immediate change at, at sunset, and then from there it'll re readjust. Or when a storm rolls in. Yeah, and that's why, like the um, old folks always said, you never make you can make syrup. You know, you can boil in the storm, but you don't ever make sugar in the storm because you can't making your finished sugar. You you're not going to know for sure when it's finished because you've got these wild changes in you the barometric it. pressure. And because that little bit of moisture that's in the air. When you're talking about tiny little bits, you're taking up to 255 or whatever, 155 degrees, you're cooking every last bit of moisture out. It's liquid because it's just liquid sugar. There's no water left, and it's hot. And, and you can't, with that moisture hanging in the air, you can't push that last little bit out. On a day that's nice and dry, I can do start to finish in 20 minutes, two gallons into sugar. But on a, a rainy day, you're looking at, I don't know, maybe uh, a, a, a Blanford one time. Were you there? No, but I remember. It's just not going to. But, but it was a. It was a, I started it up at eight thirty in the morning, a batch of two gallons, and I we pulled off at at almost four o'clock. We were doing something.